In November 2024, I am leading a dive trip to my favourite place to dive on this planet, Truk Lagoon. This is the official trip announcement video and your chance to join me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. I'm going to keep this video as short and as simple as possible. I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of Trip Lagoon. I'm going to tell you why Trip Lagoon should be on every diver's bucket list. I've got five good reasons. And then I'm going to tell you how you can join me for this epic adventure in 2024. I don't have much time, so let's dive straight into it. Trick history. There comes a moment in the life of every middle-aged man where they either get really, really obsessively into slow-cooked meat or World War II history. Now, I don't own a smoker yet, so here we are. Chuck Lagoon is a set of islands that form part of the Eastern Caroline Islands in the modern-day country of Micronesia. During World War II, Chuck in Micronesia was a major resupply, repair, and strategic fleet operating base for the Imperial Japanese Navy, with typically 100 ships at anchor at any given time within its 33-mile diameter atoll. Now, her location centered between Palau, Guam, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, the Marshall Islands, the Guadalcanal, made her sheltered lagoon a keystone of the Japanese war effort in the Pacific theater. By early 1944, the tide had turned in favor of the Allied forces in the Pacific, and the Japanese were on the run and licking their wounds. On February the 17th, 1944, the American Task Force 58, led by the aircraft carrier group, the USS Enterprise, eight other carriers and a dozens of battleships, cruisers, destroyers, and submarines launched a two-day offensive on Truk Lagoon, coded Operation Hailstorm. After the smoke had cleared, 60 plus ships and aircraft had found their final resting place on the lagoon floor. Five reasons I love diving truck. Number one, the historical significance. Unlike the wrecks, I typically get to dive here in Florida that were sunk to make dive sites. The ghost fleet of Truk Lagoon sank during their operational lifespans. That's what wreck diving for me is all about. When you dive truck, you see medicine bottles and plates and tools and instruments and trucks and planes and equipment and motorbikes and munitions in the position that the war left them. You are literally diving in history. You are diving in a museum. The fact that these wrecks weren't prepared for divers adds its own challenge, but these wrecks are a testament to the horrors of war, and it definitely gives you pause for thought. Number two, concentration of wrecks and the sheer variety. Truk Lagoon has the highest concentration of diveable World War II wrecks on the planet. But more than that, that variety of the wrecks from fighter planes to cargo ships to submarines is truly astonishing. As part of the war effort, the Japanese armed forces sequestered merchant vessels and militarized them to up their fleet numbers. These vessels were given the designation Maru. So you'll see a lot of ships when you research Truk Lagoon, the San Francisco Maru, the Rio de Janeiro Maru, the Iacocca Maru. In Truk, you could dive a different Maru every day for at least a couple of months. And all wrecks are typically 10 or 15 minutes from the dock at the resort. There is, of course, a ticking clock as well. These wrecks have been sitting in tropical salt water for 70 years. They are corroding and they will not last forever. So it is really a privilege that we get to dive them whilst we can in our lifetime. Truk Lagoon is open to advanced open water and above level divers. A lot of people think of Truk Lagoon as a strictly technical diving only destination, but nothing could be further from the truth. Truk Lagoon has 60 plus wrecks and 60% of them are within recreational dive limits. The lagoon is not that deep. Even for technical divers, the deeper wrecks are not what we can consider deep. And I know that deep is a relative term based on your personal experience, but it's a highly achievable recreational dive destination. If you're a recreational diver with deep diver training and certification, you can see all the cool stuff that Truk has to offer. If you're interested in swimming through the wrecks, I would definitely recommend, of course, some kind of formal wreck training, 
but that is a possibility of something that you can do. You don't need to be Mod 3 CCR badass technical diver to enjoy the best of what Truck has to offer. Of the dozen or people or so who have already signed up for our Truck 2024 trip, who received advance notification of this trip from our mailing list, hint, hint, it's about a 50-50 split between technical divers and recreational divers right now. Plus, we're running six divers per boat and one boat per wreck. So if you are a recreational diver, you're going to be in a small group, you're going to be paired with people of similar interests, and you're not going to be sitting around waiting for the techies to finish their deco. You'll probably beat us back to happy hour. Reason number four, awesome dive conditions. The same geological and geographical features that made Truk Lagoon an ideal sheltered anchorage for the Imperial Japanese Navy also happen to make absolutely beautiful dive conditions. There is typically very little swell inside the lagoon. Currents are typically mild or non-existent. Visibility is typically excellent. The water is a balmy 29 degrees C or 84 degrees Fahrenheit year round. You can't ask for better. Now, the trade-off is, logistically, Truk is a challenge. It's a challenge to get there because it's so remote and all the logistics of planning a dive trip there can be challenging, but you don't have to worry about any of that. I am partnering on this trip with veteran Truk leader and all-round great bloke Pete Mesley, who has over two decades of experience diving Truk Lagoon and has the logistics down to a fine art. Pete and I closed the hotel bar in Malta one night while discussing this collaboration, and I couldn't be happier than to be partnering with Pete on this trip, despite his terrible taste in rugby teams. Reason number five is the flora and fauna. As if world-class historical wreck diving wasn't enough, the life in the lagoon is truly spectacular. I remember my first dive on the San Francisco Maru, probably my all-time number one best dive of all time. I'm on the San Francisco Maru, we've done an incredible penetration dive with a group of really great friends, and we're there on the line doing our deco, and I was just thinking about what an awesome dive that was, and just as I had that thought pop into my head, a pot of 12 or 15 dolphins swam up to our team and swam around us for 20 minutes. Just there, we're on deco, and there's dolphins. No biggie, you know, truck lagoon. As I said, the wrecks have been down for 70 odd years just about. So in shallow tropical water, that means the exteriors are beautiful coral gardens. Sometimes it's fun to look at a structure on the deck of these ships and try and figure out what was that? Because now it's just encrusted in beautiful corals. Oh, that was an anti-aircraft gun. Oh, that was a tank. That was a motorbike. These are colourful, intricate coral structures, absolutely stunning to spend time looking at. So as I said earlier, at time of recording, we do still have limited spaces remaining for our truck trip in 2024. And as I said in our last channel update video, we will always give first pick to our students and past expedition members. And then we give our mailing list subscribers a seven day head start. And now this trip is open to all watching. So if you are up for a massive bucket list scuba adventure in 2024 with me, here's how the booking procedure works. All the information you need is in the brochure, link in the description down below, just down there. The last two pages of the brochure are the booking form. So you fill out the booking form, one per person in its entirety, and you email it to me. My email address is in the booking form. I will reply quickly with confirmation that we still have space available and the deposit information. We have two ways to take the deposit, depending whether you bank in the US or internationally. You send your deposit and then your place is reserved. Once you're booked, I will send you a link to a whole folder of information, both on the wrecks and history, and all the essential travel information you need to get prepared for this expedition. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is this week's video. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, and I hope to meet as many of you as possible in my favorite scuba diver destination in the entire world next year. Till next week, dive safe, dive often.